uh, just a few more definitions. So we call the volumetric strain is the trace of the strain tensor. Right? So the, the trace of a matrix is the sum of uh, the diagonal. So in this case, we can think of the strain tensor as a three by three matrix, and so the trace of this guy is, uh, <coughs> is those components. And the volumetric strain is what quantifies the volume. I mean, it's called the volumetric strain because it quantifies the volume change. Um, uh, you know, of a, of a infinitesimal cube. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a typo. Typo. Sorry. That's a typo. Need to fix that. Um, yeah, so this is this is the strain that quantifies the volume change of our infinitesimal element. So one thing to keep in mind is that when we're the strain we're talking about now is a strain. I mean, we tend to think a strain is like change in length over length, but this strain, this mathematical strain, if you recall is in the limit as the length goes to zero. And so this is really at a point. This thing lives at a point, and any, any continuum body is made up of an infinite number of points. And, the, and so uh, this quantifies, it's a little hard thing to, to kind of understand, but this quantifies the volume change of an infinitesimally small point, which is kind of a, kind of a weird thing. Right? So it's best. It's best to just think of it the volume change of a cube, and the, but the cube is infinitesimally small. So anyway, um, 